Let me tell you, I was a little bit worried. I was worried that a film that I actually enjoyed, despite the opinions of others, that was really not going to perform very well on its opening weekend. I didn't really need to worry all that much. In fact, I think Beetlejuice is doing just fine, and so does Deadline. Anthony Alejandro over there seems to think that we are looking for a $110 million opening domestically. Those are big numbers, and it gets us closer to that $140 million opening we were looking to exceed worldwide. It may still do that, and this was from the early morning Sunday update, which I think is probably fairly reliable. It's going to be somewhere in this ballpark, and audiences were going to the theaters. People were seeing that parking lots were packed. In fact, one of the people that I keep contact with when it comes to cinema let me know that their particular theater had a packed parking lot. It's always a really good sign. People are going to do their shopping, their maybe their food, and then go see a movie. Something that, well, traditionally has helped out the economy here in the United States. And I would say Beetlejuice, Beetlejuice at $110 million opening certainly helped the economy this last weekend. From the story itself, it is a sunny Sunday at the David Zaslav-led Warner Brothers Discovery today. For after a downer summer with Furiosa, Horizon et al., the, Bur the Burbank, California lot is rising like a phoenix as Tim Burton's Beetlejuice Beetlejuice grossed $42 million on Saturday. It's a pretty good Saturday. Uh, essentially, even with uh, Friday uh, and Thursday previews, uh, for what's shaping up to be a $110 million opening, if not more. In the first opening weekend, as expected, Michael Keaton, Winona Ryder, Catherine O'Hara sequel, which was uh, has a further boost, I should say, from Jenna Ortega's marquee, uh, that basically easily outgrossed the lifetime total of the original 1988 movie, which made $74.7 million. Of course, in 88, that's a huge box office number in total back then, and it became quite a cult classic that I think many of us have seen time and time again. Ent Intelligence, or Ent Intelligence, says that the sequel clocked 7.7 .7 million admissions with 73% of the weekend's foot traffic devoted to Beetlejuice, Beetlejuice. Three quarters, not bad, not bad indeed. Months ago, in the long lead tracking, or long lead tracking, as you prefer, uh, Beetlejuice Beetlejuice was projected to do 100 million, which I'd been reporting for quite some time. Warner Brothers kept the momentum up in its promos, delivering the second highest opening of September after New Line's It's, which was a 123.4 million record for the month back in 2017. Again, before the, the before times. It's also the second highest burden film after Alice in Wonder, Wonderland's opening of 116.1. Mind you, that's assuming that Sunday doesn't just go bonkers and we get even more into the theaters today. If the movie has a fantastic hold, north of 30% and 30 million, then it could open as a record opening for Warner Brothers original Batman director. What could slow business today is the first day of Sunday NFL football. What could? What will? Because we haven't had football, real football, in a long time. Ortega, on a technical basis, it's her second best opening after Iron Man 3's 174.1, because she played the vice president's daughter in that movie. However, on a star-based basis, this will easily be her best start that she's had as a lead actress. Congratulations to her. And this is definitely the best opening so far, or ever, I should say, for Winona Ryder, who, um, well, also was in Star Trek uh, of 2009, and uh, Mr. Deeds. Uh, both of those were not exactly boomers. Overall, I would say the start for this film is pretty good. The question is, can it have a decent hold going into next weekend, and an even more competitive calendar with things like college football, professional football, and many other sporting events out there. We're winding down into the end of baseball and a lot of other times when playoffs really start to kick up. This really does change the dynamic of entertainment composition 
and certainly does change where people put their entertainment dollars. Perhaps it wasn't such a foolish mistake to release this one week after the holiday weekend, but I would still say that windowing could have helped this film substantially. Hey, it's up for debate, and so I ask you. Let me know your thoughts down in the comments section below. Is this film going to manage to keep some legs? Is it going to perform rather well and not only pay back its enormous budget, but uh, make Warner Brothers Discovery a tidy little profit? Will the international numbers come in and be a hero? Well, we'll find out sometime later today whether or not those really came in solidly. And do you think that this has any momentum to give us a third film? Seems like everybody that was on this project has indicated no third film ever, but sometimes money speaks louder than words. As I said, let me know your thoughts down in the comments section below. And while you're down there, double check your so still subscribed. Why do I keep saying that so often? Well, because people get unsubscribed all the time. And one of the ways you can stop that from happening is actually to watch another one of my videos right afterwards, which believe it or not, will come up right towards the end. So if you just click on that next video, hey, watch that video, you'll do yourself a favor, you won't get unsubscribed, you'll do me a favor, and I won't have to keep asking. And for those of you who've never subscribed or are here for the first time, hit the button. It's free. Subscribe to the channel right now. I will say thank you if you do. And so for many of you, thank you. As always, be sure to take care of yourself, take care of others, and until next time, see ya.